Hello my fellow nerds and welcome back to another episode of Road to Raw, the series where I attempt to get every single weapon in Splatoon 2 to the Raw rank. I'm your host, Noah. If you want to check out the rules for this challenge, they are in the description below. And without further ado, let's see what weapon we're going to be using. Numbers are 10 and 12, so 12, 11, 10. Number 12, the Zinc Mini Splatling! Yay! I love Mini Splatlings. It'll be similar to yesterday's video. Might be a little more interesting. Uh, so now that we have our weapon chosen, let's jump right into the games. So what do you need to know about the Zinc Mini Splatling? Well, the Mini Splatling is of the Splatling class, like I used yesterday with the Heavy Splatling Remix. But the Minis are really, really quick. Basically, the spin-up time is practically non-existent. So they're really fun to use up close, and they're a little safer to use in up close situations, but they don't have as much range and they don't do as much damage, so you gotta hit more shots, that sort of thing. Um, there are two types of mini splatlings, I believe. There might be three. Uh, actually, there are three, because there's the Kenzo one. But the there's the normal one, and then this one's the zinc one, meaning that it has a different special and super than the other two. So this one comes with a curling bomb, which allows you to... Never mind, I will not show it there. Allows you to rush a little further, uh, because it leaves a little ink trail, which allows you to get up close and be able to battle up close, which is good. And then Ink Storm, which is very good as a passive thing. Once you get enough ink for it, you just throw it down, and then it takes care of the rest itself. As such, I throw it down, and it'll spawn this huge ink cloud that rains ink down from above, deals damage, and gets ink on the floor. So, I do like this weapon a lot. I'm dead. By gay crab question mark, they are not sure. <laughs> but this weapon's fun because it's splatlings, which I like, but it's close range, so I can get up close and personal and be mean and aggressive. It's fun. I, it might take me a few games to get used to it. Also, my hands are cold, not just literally, or not just metaphorically, but also literally, because I, A, haven't used this weapon in a while, and B, had to go fill up gas outside, and it's like 40 degrees outside. It's bad. There's two people down. Good start. Also, another thing that's important to know, the weapon is currently at a 1.0, so not at the usual 0.0, but we'll at least have a few games to enjoy it. Should be a good video. Something I'm somewhat used to. Uh, let me see if I can... Nope. I cannot. Ink Storm to you. There's someone down here. They are stuck in the corner. Come on. Try to attack me. Oh. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Oh, but I got him. That actually shreds the shield pretty quickly. I'm impressed. Usually, that shield is extremely hard to break. But my friend Rift might have been helping me as well, which is nice. I believe there's someone, yep, right there. I could not reach them. They might be going around this way. Oh, hit him once. You do not have the range to take me out. You do, though! Oh, that's unfortunate. And they are dead. You... You went up. Yeah, no. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to throw another one of these. And almost missed it. That would have been very embarrassing. My I, my hand slipped. Miss click. It was a miss click. Let's see. I think we're going to take this one to the... Uh, to the it, it, we got it in the bag. It is in the bag. I was going to say something about a cash register. I don't know where that was coming from. But with the first game down, let's see how we did. I think that was an extremely solid game. I checked my points there at the end. I won't spoil it if you weren't looking. Very nice win. Like 95% of the turf was inked, which is very good. And wow. Oh my gosh. Me and Agent Trip 008. We, we demolished. Good on points and very good on splats. So good first game to start us off. In the world of gaming today, or I guess this was yesterday, but I just forgot to mention in the video, but Mario Kart 9 was said to be in development, and that is extremely exciting because we've had Mario Kart 8 since the beginning of the Wii U, and its nine year anniversary is next year, I believe, which is crazy. So, would it be too far fetched to believe that the next Mario Kart could come out this year or next year? No, absolutely not. I really hope it comes out though, because I am desperate for some more Mario Kart content. I was really excited when they added the Breath of the Wild Link variant and Deluxe. I was like, oh awesome, we're getting new stuff, finally. 
And then they just didn't do anything else. <laughs> I was like, okay. Maybe they pulled a Breath of the Wild and said, so we had too many good ideas, so we decided we're just going to make a new game. Because that's literally what they did with Breath of the Wild 2. And that makes me laugh. They're like, oh, wait, we have a lot of creativity. Let's use it. <laughs> and they did. And Breath of the Wild 2 looks like it's going to be fantastic. I'm stoked. And I'm going to run away because that's a battle I can't exactly fight. Everyone is everywhere. Okay, you, sir. Actually, I'm going to throw this first so I don't waste it. Ow. That person got me. Is that a J? These special characters, a lot of people in Splatoon use special characters. It's so confusing. Like, how do you get the, uh, the music notes? I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, I heard that. I guess that, the person who threw that is now gone. Oh! Oh, poor soul. Give me one shame on you, give me twice. I won't let you. It won't matter. <laughs> he has no clue. Oh, but that person has a clue. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Please stop. Okay. This time I'm getting him. Oh, gosh. We both suck. Okay, we're good. Oh, what? Oh, man. I was like, oh, no, they're back there, and then I'm just going to get a few more points to get my ink storm. That didn't happen, unfortunately. I'm going to get some ink down back here and up here. I don't know. Have I played on... Uh, this is... Oh, what is it called? I can't remember. The skate park map. It doesn't matter what it's called. But I don't know if I've played on it in the series yet. I've been playing on uh, Humpback Pump Track for so long. Blue, blue Belly Skate Park, maybe? That might be it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, listen, I just need to throw my ult. I'm gonna leave you alone, right? I didn't leave him alone. Oh, they're hurt. They're hurt, team. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. We need help over here. Uh, I'm gonna throw this down as a distraction. Yep, because I knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Oh, I got two! Oh my gosh, the plays, I'm crazy. That's a good deal. Uh, I'm gonna make sure we get ink down. Good, good. And then, get it down here, just real quick. I don't know how they aren't in the danger zone. We seem to have control over a lot of that. Let's take a look at the map. It looks like a win to me. <laughs> and... Yep, that's gonna be quite an easy win. That will put us at 3.0, with two extremely good games to start. I'm very happy with that. Wow. Look at me at the top of the leaderboard. Ten spots again. Very good. I'm gonna get back on the Mario Kart train because I, I talked about it earlier, and I have a ton of really cool ideas. So, back on the GameCube, they had Mario Kart Double Dash, where the whole gimmick of the game was that you would have two people in one cart, You'd share items and stuff like that, and I really like that idea. So I think they could bring that back pretty easily in like just an extra mode, uh, like how they have Mirror and uh, instead of 150 CC, they could do like a double dash tournament, or maybe it's just like a selective mode that you could use any CC for. I don't know. I think that'd be cool as just a mode to bring it back, you know, because we haven't seen it in a while. Um. Some people mention how they should make, like, a Super Smash Bros. Mario Kart with a ton of other Nintendo characters. And while I enjoy having characters like Inkling and Link in the game, I don't necessarily want to take away the fact that it's Mario Kart, you know? Mario Kart is Mario Kart. Like, Smash Bros. didn't start out as a... Uh, what are you doing? Smash Bros. didn't start out as a Mario game, you know? And so I don't want to take away from Mario Kart, but if I were to add another Nintendo IP, I think Kirby definitely deserves a spot uh, because of Kirby Air Ride, which was also a GameCube game, actually. Uh, and you could throw in, like, the Warp Stars, one of the carts or something, that'd be cool. I think cart customizability is still really neat, so should definitely keep that. Uh, what else could they do? I don't know, because it's, it's said that there's going to be a new twist, quote-unquote, but every Mario Kart game has a new twist, you know? That feels like, oh, the next Breath of the Wild game will have uh, Link. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but I think they can do some really cool stuff with Mario Kart again. The anti-grab just felt like more racing, but in cooler environments, which I like a lot, and it made a lot of the courses feel very dynamic. 
but I wasn't, like, super invested in it, you know? It wasn't, like, this crazy new awesome thing. It was, like, driving, but everything else looks upside down. Like, okay, that's cool. But what else, you know? Like, Double Dash completely changes the way you play the game, but going reverse or going upside down in anti-gravity is essentially the same thing as just playing the normal game. And I do like it a lot, don't get me wrong. I think it's a really cool idea, but it's just not very different from what we're used to. So what would my suggestion be? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I actually don't know, because I feel like there's a lot of stuff you could do, but I don't know what you would do, you know? If I come up with any ideas during the games, I will be sure to mention them. But I'm saying I don't know genuinely because I have no clue what I'd add into the game. That looks like it's going to be a win for us. Let's take a look. Oh. Well, maybe if we got our base painted more, it would be a win. Oh, it's still a win. By just, just a little bit. 0.3. Wow. Extremely close game. Of course, I, I popped off again. I haven't, like, played a game where I didn't do well. Man, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to reconsider the mini spot link. <laughs> maybe I'm better with it than I thought. We are currently at 4.0, so I will now take the time to reminisce on this weapon. I always really liked the mini spot link. A lot. Um, just the weapon itself, not the sub or special. I think it's extremely powerful and it allows me to get up close with the weapon type that I like because the one thing that the Splatling fails at is that you have to charge it up, you know? But this one, the charge up is extremely quick and the payoff is immense. So I do like it a lot. The sub being the curling bomb, I can't really, I haven't really put it to good use yet other than that one like cool double that I had but like I wasn't even using the thing correctly, you know? Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna leave. Um, but I do like the Ink Storm. Any passive special I like just because I can throw it down and then continue to do my own thing, which is what this weapon excels at. I can do my own thing because it's extremely powerful. I'm gonna throw this here. And using a curling bomb with this weapon is pretty dangerous because you're putting yourself in danger of just rushing to, into a battle that you can't win, which is scary. And so, putting yourself in that disadvantage at the beginning of a fight is probably going to get you hurt pretty bad. But if you can make it work, then yeah, it's awesome. I can't fight that because I will get bonked immediately. Oh, and I will get bonked immediately, it won't matter. <laughs> and I can't remember what the other mini splatlings have, but I'd probably prefer them over the zinc. But the weapon itself, yes, it's it's very good, as I've been able to prove pretty well these past few games. What sub would I want with it? My favorite sub is the uh, Splat Bomb. It's just so powerful. It's the perfect bomb. Like, there is no better bomb, in my opinion. This- I'm dead, yeah. <laughs> I got- I got hit once in the night. I knew I was done for. The Splat Bomb's my favorite bomb because you can- it's very good at killing. Not only that, uh, okay, that's one, good. It's very good at splatting, and it's also extremely powerful at just, like, pressure. Because people can't mess with it. You can mess with a burst bomb to some extent, because you can hit, get hit by two of them and still live. But with a splat bomb, if you're too close to one of them, you're toast. Which is extremely dangerous. And so you have that really good pressure, which allows you to either push or redirect people in the direction you want them to go. It's extremely good. There's some other bombs that are decent. Uh, suction bombs are hard for me to use because they consume so much ink. Uh, and you, my good friend, are gone. Sweet. But we're holding it together. Good job, us. I'm hoping, well, I don't know if I hope for a win because if we lose, that means I get to play at least two more games. But if I win, I get to prove that I'm really good with this weapon. I think I've already proved that, though. You know. Oh. One kill for the fans. I think that's going to do it for the mini splatling. Wow. Look at that. Four games in a row. We went for a perfect four game streak. I think that is a first in the series. So very impressive. Let's just make sure I held up. Oh, I absolutely held up. 
my highest points. Not as much splats, but hey, still very good. There's the freshness bonus of 3,000, and that's going to do it for the uh, mini splatling zinc. And let's take it to the outro. And that's going to do it for today's video with the zinc mini splatling. I had an amazing time this video and played my heart out in each and every single one of those four games. Those are some of the best games I've ever done. Uh, not only on the channel, but just in general. I, I really did. I exceeded this gun, exceeded my expectations, and I'm very happy with it. And so thank you guys for watching, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video.